Joseph. Uh, good afternoon, sir. My name is Jashwan Simha. I'm recently graduated from Zima Technical Campus uh, with CGP of 6.98, uh, pass out year 2025. Uh, skills included with Python, HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript, MySQL, and Django. And uh, at my BTEC fourth year, worked on projects like uh, real time traffic surveillance using deep learning and uh, computer vision techniques. Mm -hmm. At VCube Software and Solutions, I worked on projects like Media Assist using Python and MySQL. Mm -hmm. And now I'm working on LMS uh, using Django, HTML, CSS, Python, and etc. Coming to my achievements, I um, completed my NCCB and C certificate with merit grade. And also, I'm repairing AP and Telangana in Air Force Station, be there. Just explain me, I mean, something deeply about your project. Anything, I mean, you just take anything, real-time traffic surveillance and detection system. Yeah, sir. In so, real-time traffic surveillance, uh, using deep learning and computer vision detection. In that, I worked on uh, how the neural networks works, how the deep learning understand the data models and etc. In that, we used the YOLO algorithm, VI. Uh, it detects the object, uh, how you write and how you train the model. According to that, it detects the object. For that, we use the CNN uh, conventional neural worker. It identifies the picture and uh, object according to the grids. It divides the picture into multiple grids, grids and it's identified in the mathematical form. In deep learning, it uh, trains the uh, existing models in a high performance way. See, do you explain this much? Yes. The ultimate goal of this project is not yet covered, I can say. What is the ultimate goal of this project? To search the, uh, like in traffic, there are some people like they are coming in right way and wrong way. To avoid that situations, we designed this project to if anyone comes in the wrong way or any, it shows that it was abnormal vehicle. In a right way, it shows that it was normal okay. vehicle. I mean, where you are deploying this app, so you, it has to be connected to the uh, signals and all? No, sir. Just uh, we worked on a laptop as a major part. What are the challenges you faced in this development? YOLO algorithm, sir. Mm -hmm. Because in YOLO, we need to train the model to identify the objects. Mm -hmm. Like objects, uh, we need to train like in picture they are connected into like uh, dividing into multiple grids. Mm -hmm. In that each grid equal to like for if in that picture there is a person, it goes to the mathematical equation like and e p equals to one. And like that, the, all the picture grids uh, converted into that form. So that too, uh, the model need to identify using that mathematical form. Like this is an object of bike, this is an object of car. So that is major challenge. And uh, conventional neural network, uh, decision make, uh, decision tree, and SVM, this all. Because of in fourth year, we don't know that much about for this. Yes, but still, as you mentioned in the resume, it should be very clear. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So I'm directly coming to the point. So, I am having a number like this, for example, 1987. Yes, sir. I need the output like 9178. How do you write the code? I need the number 1987. I want the output 9178. Yes, sir. Hope you understand, I am swapping every two numbers. Yes, sir. First thing, how you are having length in number? So it mounted over. It's a number, right? Yes, sir. Then? Okay, leave it. Leave it. Yes, yeah. So, what's the difference between list and set? No, list is your data structure, it is unordered, uh, which it allows the duplicate values, uh, it stores the heterogeneous values, uh, it is immutable uh, in the sense of we can add, remove and modify the list. Uh, set is unordered, unindexed, it is, uh, does not allow duplicate values and it set follows the hash table, that's why it's not unordered. So why it is, I mean, if it is, if the data is stored in hash table, yes, so how it is unordered? Whenever we run the program more times, uh, it set automatically like changes its values, keys and values. So that's why it's... You know how it changes? So you are saying, you are saying it changes. How, yes, it, is it, how it changes? Uh, by using hash function. Okay. So we just tell me some examples where we use list, where we use set. List in used in like Amazon and etc. Uh, Amazon like fruit cart, fruit shopping. Uh, at that time, we can add one item and we can remove and modify that. If you want any faster lookups, uh, no, 
I mean, adding and removing you can do in the set also, right? Yes, sir. Then what's the point? But we cannot uh, take the duplicate values. No, set cannot. And even, for example, as you said, Amazon. Yes, so sir. In Amazon also, you cannot add duplicate things. Yes, you sir. can give the count. Yes, sir. Or you can give the quantity. Quantity. But you don't give the duplicates, right? Yes, sir. Then why can't you set that? You can use set also, sir. But set, uh, set used in foster lookups and uh, hash functions. Yes, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You are also computer science student. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Okay. So I'm not going to ask you. Tell me about yourself. I would like to ask you a few things. Okay, sir. So tell me how you created text summarization API. Uh, it's your one of your project. Yeah, sir. Please. Here I use the uh, Python and MySQL and uh, API Fast API. Here, here I use the uh, Hugging Face model. Uh, it is a one of the model. It is used to generate the input text into the short way. For that purpose, I use the hugging face model, sir. Mm -hmm. Here, the uh, input format is in JSON, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, uh, and the entire thing will be taken care by that API only. You, are not, you did not do anything. Ah, uh, yes. Then, how it is your project? It's so, just... It's a genuine question, right? Yeah. Yes. But uh, here, it is one of the tasks to me, sir. Mm -hmm. For that, I will mention in that my resume. Okay. So, try one program. I will give you one string. You take a string like... Yes. A E uh, X Y uh, O N P. Okay. You just try the program like I want the group of consonants in between the vowels. Yes. Sir. Yes. I want you to print that. N P should not be there. N P should not be there actually, because my question is I want the group of consonants in between. Uh, vowels. Group of consonants in between. In between vowels. In between vowels. That's why I, I want this. input and output format. No, so this one. This one is the input format. Uh -huh. That's it. You are giving this thing. I want XY. XY you? is the output. XY is the output. Yes. I can't get your questions. Again, I I have given a string and I want you to extract the group of consonants which are surrounded with vowels. Yeah, some. Do we understand? Yeah. No worries. No worries. Instead, it takes time, but yes. I will ask you another small question. See, I want you to find the first non-repeated character without using count function, without using any input functions. So you are having a string like uh, A, A, B, C, A, B, A, B, C, A, B. This is a string. I want you to find the first non-repeating character in the string. Without using input functions. Yes. Okay, don't feel stressed. Sir, can, I, can I use um, like um, account of the uh, frequency no, no, of the no, no, no. characters? Then I will use. Don't use input function. Write the code. That's the intention. So, okay, anyway, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I intentionally ask this kind of questions because I want to show you the severity. So now the people are expecting the truth. Okay. Yes. Okay, but, but you have to be prepared to the tough man. That's it. Okay. Yes. So I, clear. Sir, I know you are a very good student. Yes. I have a doubt, sir. If I find the frequency count, then if the count is one, then I will print true, the. True. Okay. But you don't need to do all those things. See, that is that may write it. Okay. I told you all this. So, take if I not in. If I not in yes of you take for example this this should be the index yeah I plus one that's it if I is if the character is not there in the next group of characters then it is non repeated am yeah. I right? that's uh. it okay. Okay. Thank you.